Hey guys, it's Nicole here, and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the iPhone 6. So I got it the day it came out, and before this I had the iPhone 5S, and so I'm just going to kind of show you what's on my phone, and also the differences that the iPhone 6 has between all the other iPhones, and what the new iOS 8 software is like. And I know you can obviously get that, I'm um, pretty sure on any iPhone, not just the iPhone 6. But anyways, I'm going to tell you about the iPhone 6 and what is, ignore that, and what is on my iPhone. So you can see all the apps and goodies I've got. So if you want to see what's on my iPhone and know more about the iPhone 6, then just keep watching this video. Hey guys, so this is the iPhone 6. And you can kind of tell that it's definitely a lot bigger than the iPhone 5S. And I wish I had an iPhone 5S to compare it with right now, but I don't because I traded it in. But you can definitely tell it's a lot bigger. And I got the white with the gold back. So it's definitely a lot bigger, a lot wider, and the screen is bigger. So obviously it has the touch id so that if you have your phone locked and you touch your finger there it unlocks and i think that's kind of annoying because i feel like a lot of times it doesn't even work when you put your finger towards it and also i just hate having a password because i feel like it's annoying so i just don't have a password so my background is just a gold glitter background that i just googled on pinterest because ugh, I liked gold backgrounds, so I just got that off Pinterest. And then this background is the same thing. I just googled gold glitter and I found this background. So when you open my phone right here, it has messages at the top and then next to it is every day. So every day features a clock, which I just keep my alarms on for when I have to wake up for classes. And then weather, notes, which I really, really like notes because I'm a big fan of making lists and keeping stuff organized. So I love to make lists, contacts, maps for when I'm driving because I just use that as my GPS, calculator, app store, calendar, and settings. So that's just kind of general things that just comes on the iPhone. And then next we have photography. So if you looked at my last what's on my iPhone video, you'd probably see that I had a lot more photography apps, but I honestly barely even use any of them. So I decided to just delete any apps that I never used and to just keep the apps that I do use. So I have my camera, which I just wanna say that the quality on this iPhone 6 camera is so much better than the quality of any other iPhone. So that's the biggest thing why I really like this iPhone is the quality so it has photo video you can take a video in slow-mo you could also take a time-lapse video and then you could take a photo in square and a panorama so something that's pretty cool is that if you tap to focus there's a brightness tab and you can change the brightness and make it brighter or not brighter so yeah, if you just tap the little sunny thing right there, you can scroll up or down and make it brighter or not brighter. So I'll just kind of show you, let's see, let's take a picture. So I don't know if you could really tell on camera, but how much better quality the video is because it is so much better video, no, how much better quality photos are. Like the photos are so much better quality than any other iPhone that I've ever had. And then the next app I have is Afterlight, which definitely uh, costs money in the iTunes store, but I think it's only like a dollar or something like that. And this is by far my favorite editing app. So if you just want to take a picture, I don't know, we'll just take, let's see, let's take a selfie that I took. So this was a selfie that I took, and you can see how much better quality the camera is than any other iPhone. Like, I think that is awesome quality. So use and basically you can change like clarity, you can change brightness, you can change contrast, you can change anything like as to do with lighting and then also you can do there's filters that you can choose from 
and there's also you can rotate a picture and crop it and everything like that and then you can also put frames on your pictures so yeah you can put any frame you want so let's see like a square frame you could do a circle frame you could do any frame you want so I think this is like the best editing app because you, you can change the lighting you can do filters you can you can rotate pictures and you can put frames which is basically what you want for an editing which is basically what you want for any photo editing kind of app so yeah squarity is how I make photos with like the white frame so I don't know if you ever noticed but Instagram crops photos to fit into their square thingy, whatever. So if you don't want to crop a photo and you want the whole whole you want the whole photo in your frame, then you can just use Squarey, and you can get the whole photo like that. And it also gets a pretty white black a pretty white background, and you can also change it to any color you want. It doesn't just have to be white. But I think it's awesome because you can fit your whole photo in it, and I like I just like the look of the frames. VSO Cam is another great editing app for filters. I think this one has like the best filters ever. So let's just use this picture again and we'll go through the filters. Like here's just a bunch of filters. And you can also change the filter. Like say you wanted this one, but you're like, eh, I don't want it as dramatic. You can just tone it down by going like that, tone it up. So it just has every awesome filter like I think these filters are so tumblr and pinteresty and stuff like that so I think this is the best app for filters videos it's just dish and I just have some movies on there the notebook oh. and then cool fonts is an awesome app because it has cool fonts now but basically you could take these fonts and you can like post them on your Instagram pictures or send them to people through text and it just has really cool fonts that are really unique and no one else is going to have and people are going to be like where'd you get that and then we have characters which is another cool thing what the frig is this no can i use it out of this there we go what the hell okay i don't know what just happened characters so yeah you could do characters and you can just you know blah 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 whatever characters you want and copy and paste um, them and then you could put them as instagram caption or send them to people or whatever you want put them on twitter these are just really random yeah. so that is photography next we have social media so we have instagram twitter snapchat so these are about three main so Instagram, if you wanna follow me on the Instagram, it's Aunt Nikki Finney. Woohoo! Same thing for Twitter. And then my YouTube, if you aren't subscribed to me already, you should probably subscribe. Cause yeah, I said so. So it's my YouTube, Pinterest, you can follow me on Pinterest to so search Nicole Finn. I like to post a lot of cool things. My newest thing I've been posting is my nails. Well, not my nails, but pictures of nails that I think are really cool that I like to get done. So that's my newest obsession on Pinterest. Then Facebook, which is kind of unfortunate because I don't remember my username or password for Facebook, so I can't really log on. Vine, I don't really go on that that much, but if you want to search me, I guess it's Nicole Finn again. But it's not really that interesting. I don't really ever go on it. Tumblr. So this is really upsetting guys, but I kind of don't remember my username or password to Tumblr and I had an awesome Tumblr that I've been working on for like five years and it was awesome and it had such awesome things on it and I'm really sad that I don't have it anymore. So I had to make a new Tumblr and there's absolutely nothing on my tumblr right now and it's pretty sad and depressing i'm pretty sad about it because i worked so hard on my tumblr Ugh. anyways yik yak which is like the newest obsession over social media i guess and basically what it is is it's an app it's basically just like twitter except for it's anonymous 
and it shows you like I guess yaks you would call them in your area because you use your location and then it shows you what people are yakking in your area so it's basically on yak it's everyone from my school and people from the school right down the street <laughs> and it's kind of funny because everyone posts about like teachers or things going on around your school so yeah shopping we have the ebay app because i like to go on ebay and buy cool things td bank and pnc because those are my banks paypal because you have to use paypal to pay for things on ebay vinted which is really cool because it's an i know there's a bunch of apps like this but this one i think is really cool because you can post pictures of your clothes that you don't, maybe don't wear anymore you don't want and you can sell them on this app and then you can also buy used people's clothes that are in good condition and probably a lot of them are designer too and it's awesome. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a new wardrobe but you want you know some new hip clothes you just go on Vinted and look at what people are selling and there's a lot of good things that people are selling for really cheap. And then also if you don't want to buy anything on there you could just sell your old clothes and it's awesome because people will buy your old clothes that you don't want anymore. Winello is just... I really like this app or sign in okay I can't get on it right now because it's my new phone and I don't remember what my email and stuff was that I used for it but I will figure it out but what now is really cool because it's like it just shows you a lot of cool things that I feel like you wouldn't be able to find at any other like stores or any other websites and I just feel like you can find a lot of random things that are cool that you wouldn't find anywhere else. So Polyvor is awesome for finding things you normally would never be able to find. So what you do is you kind of like search, like say you want to find like, I don't know, uh, alright, thigh high boots was something I was searching for. So I would click on that and it comes up with all the thigh high boots from like all different stores. And you could sort it by like lowest price to highest price so you can see what's like the cheapest option. So it's really cool for finding things if you have a specific thing that you're looking for. Groupon is cool because it just gives you like a bunch of deals in your local area going on. So like up to 40% off pastries, cookies, and breads at Camp Hill Bakery. So that's what, kind of what Groupon is all about is just like local deals in your area. And then Dunkin' because America runs on Dunkin' and you can also, if you download the Dunkin' app, you can get a lot of cool perks and like free stuff and yeah. Shopular is an app that shows you all the coupons going on right now at all your favorite stores. So right now you can tap to win a $200 shopping spree at Wet Seal. Guess has 20% off your entire purchase and stuff like that. So it just shows you all of the deals going on. Forever 21 because like I love Forever 21 and I got to have the app. Entertainment. So my three music choices are music app which is just the iTunes music app, which comes on your phone, Pandora, and Spotify. So they're all basically the same thing. They're all just like things that you can make your own like stations. Spotify is cool because you make you can make your own playlist. But there's things that you could search for music and then they give you stations. Shazam is if you're hearing a song and you're like, what is that song? I want to know. You just hit on this app and it will like hear the song that's playing. And then it can tell you what that song is. <laughs> Netflix, because I got to watch my Netflix. E! Online, because I like to see what's going on with all the celebrities. Makeup Genius, which is by L'Oreal, is a really cool app. And what you do is you basically... Ooh, there's me! <laughs> so you basically scan your face and then you can apply different makeup looks. Which is really cool because you can see like what would look good on you so you can see like maybe you want to try red lips but you're like oh I don't know if it's gonna look good on me you just upload your face on there and then you can try on red lipstick and see what it's gonna look like this health app came with the iPhone and you can basically keep track of like your body measurements fitness nutrition stuff like that but I think the coolest thing on here is the medical ID so basically what it is is you can put all your like medical information in and then if you ever are like passed out or you're like in an ambulance or going to a hospital or something people could take your phone 
and you can you can you can get to this medical ID even if your phone is locked as long as you um, see show unlocked as long as you have that clicked people can get to it whenever it's locked and you can have your name your birthday medical condi conditions allergies medications you're taking stuff like that so I think this is everyone should have this because it is amazing if you're actually like sick and need help people can just automatically see all your details without having to like, contact someone else or you know going through all this medical history exercise I have my three butt workouts butt workout butt workouts and Brazilian butt because I'm obsessed with getting a big butt like Kim Kardashian <laughs> and then I also have this lose it app which Okay, I didn't sign in because I just got a new phone, but basically you keep track of everything you ate, how many calories it is, and basically it keeps track of how many calories you can eat that day in order to lose some weight. And then I have my extras, which just came on the phone. So compass, tips, which is really cool because it shows you tips of things you can do with your iPhone that maybe you didn't know. Like, quickly respond to a notification. See, like, right there, if someone, were, like, texts you really quick, you could quickly swipe down, and you can just type it right there and respond right there without even opening the text. You can send audio messages instead of text messages. You can just send you talking, I guess, instead of actually texting out a message, which is pretty cool. You can quickly manage your mail by, like, marking on red, putting in the trash by just swiping. Obviously it has Siri. Oh, and this is another thing. When you double click on your phone and on the top, you're going to get all your recent people that you texted. So for instance, if I go like that, I get all the recent people that I texted up there. So I can quickly like click on it. So that's pretty cool. Um, to see when a message was sent, you could just swipe and see what time it was, but you could do that on the old iOS anyways. So um, another th cool thing is that the camera has a timer. So I think that's pretty cool because you can now take selfies with the timer, y'all. Yeah. Oh, another quick thing I want to show you guys is if you click on a text message and you start typing something out, it gives you like suggestions. Like for instance, I'll just say, hi. It gives you suggestions, hi, his, him. So it's really easy to type to people because it gives you suggestions. You just click on that. Say I want to say his voice is amazing see that's what I wanted to type to someone like I just click on that and then I just hit send I don't even have to type which is pretty cool I just have to type like one letter one or two letters and it kind of just automatically knows what I'm gonna say um, voice memos which is just if you want to record your voice and save it I don't know <laughs> uh, podcasts which is like for podcast stations I don't know don't really use it iBooks if you want to download books onto your phone, Game Center for games, newsstand for getting news, sports information like newspapers, magazines, reminders if you want to have a reminder and have a notification for your reminder. I have the Find iPhone app because if I ever lost my iPhone, I would devastated. I would be devastated and I would cry and not know what to do. So. I have the Find iPhone app so that if I ever found it, I could just go on my laptop and find where my iPhone is. Then I have Passbook, which is, keeps your, okay, I'll just read it. Keeps your boarding passes, movie tickets, retail coupons, blah, 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 all in here. Don't really use it, but it is pretty cool. I guess if you travel a lot and have a lot of movie tickets and loyalty cards and stuff like that, which I don't. Stocks and iTunes store to get music. So then down here I just have my mail and Safari. So that is all my apps and everything on my phone. I don't have that many apps, but I feel like everything on my phone is everything that I need and it's essential and stuff like that. So overall the main features that are different on the iPhone 6 is the lock screen is over here. Again, you can use your finger as a password to unlock your phone. Like I said, the messages, you can type, it just kind of like types your message for you. You can also send your message as a voice text. Again, if someone just texts you, you can quickly swipe on it and respond up there. Your recents are over here. The, the picture quality is amazing on iPhones. 
so much better. You have a little timer and you have changed the brightness and stuff like that. So overall, I really like the iPhone 6 and I think it was a great buy. So yeah. Hey guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed my iPhone 6 video and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything I have on my iPhone and seeing the cool features that the iPhone 6 offers. So I, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.